Hi, in this uh, video for the Humax HDR 1010S, we're going to take you through the first time installation and uh, basically, you know, how you'll set it up and uh, tune in your satellite channels, okay? So, uh, the first thing to note is about the Humax 1010S is that it's a twin tuner FreeSat Plus box. And what that means is, if you just think of a Sky Plus HD box, it's pretty much the exact same as that, except it's for free channels. All your BBCs, your ITVs, your Channel 4s, all things like that, Channel 5, etc. Okay, so uh, as part of the installation process, uh, you have to have your uh, satellite cables plugged in. Okay, and this box will take two satellite cables. It's a twin tuner, so there should, you should have something like a quad LMB on your sky dish and two cables running from that into the back of the box, much like you would do, you know, as I said before, on a Sky Plus HD box. So once you have that connected up then, uh, turn on the box and you'll be presented with a screen like this and connected to the TV. And uh, so we'll just say okay to go next. So it'll ask you, there's a few steps here but it's all very quick. Um, it'll ask you there, do you want to change any of the picture or the sound settings? You can do that using the arrow keys if you so choose. And you can press OK and see your options using the arrow keys. Press OK to save it. And then when you're happy enough with that, most people will be happy enough with the default settings there anyway. So you can just press next then. The next stage is basically it tests for uh, satellite signal strength. Okay. And this is why you, you want your cables plugged in. So it'll, it's a good idea because it'll tell you basically if you're going to get a good or a bad signal signal something like that you know um, after that's finished then what happens is you'll go on to the next stage and the next stage will basically be tuning in the satellite channels or the free sat channels okay so you can see there the signal test is very quick and it came back and said my signal is all, uh, all good okay on both tuners so I'm just going to hit next now and go to the next one the next one is the channel search. Now, the interesting thing about this, anybody that's ever used a free-to-air box and tried to tune in all the channels from scratch and then arrange them and delete them and you know sort them out to suit themselves, they'll know that it's a fairly lengthy process. Official free sat boxes tune the satellites, uh, tune the free sat channels in by UK postcode. They have predefined lists, and what that allows them to do is basically you enter a postcode and it'll bring in all the channels in the FreeSat range, but it'll particularly, it will apply the regional variations to your list and put them higher up, okay, to suit yourself. So for the vast majority of people in Ireland, that we would be used to the likes of BBC Northern Ireland and UTV, things like that. So what we would want to enter is a, a Northern Irish postcode. So the one we generally tend to use is BT, Oops, BT one one AA, and that's a Belfast postcode. Okay, so once we do this, it'll tune in. Basically, it'll verify that this is a an Northern Irish or a UK postcode, and once it figures out which one it is, then it'll apply the regional variations for that. So I'm just going to arrow down to next and click OK. So you can see they're verifying your postcode, and you're going to see now in a sec how quick this scan actually is. There you go, all the channels are tuned in. It's unbelievably quick. This is one of the huge advantages of um, owning an official Humax box, or owning an official FreeSat box, I should say, but Humax would be pretty much the best ones in the range of um, FreeSat boxes. But you can just see how incredibly quick that was. So we're just gonna go save channels. The next thing it's going to ask me, because the Humax uh, HDR 1010S is a, it has built-in Wi-Fi, the next thing it's going to ask me is to connect to my uh, wireless network, okay? So there's just, I don't have any here where I am now, so it's just picking up a few in the area here. And if you had one, basically, you just select the one, your own one that would show up there. Uh, what you see there, the numbers and letters you see there is what's called your SSID. And generally that will be written on the underneath on a sticker of your router in your house. Okay. Also along with that, you'll usually have your router password or your Wi-Fi password written on the sticker as well. And when you click on that, it'll ask you, when you click on the screen here on your particular one, it'll ask you for that password. Just type it in and you'll be connected to your Wi-Fi. When you're connected to your Wi-Fi, it'll allow you to access things such as uh, free time. Okay. But just for demonstration purposes here, uh, I'm just going to say skip this step. So the next step then will be parental control. So you can set up a pin code there to stop kids maybe watching certain channels or perhaps 
uh, messing about with the settings on the box. Um, that's up to yourself. Very easy to do, but I'm just going to say skip this step. And then the last thing is basically start watching Freesat. And you can see there now, all done, very easy, very quick. And I'm just going to turn the sound down there now. So that was basically it, just taking you through the first time install on the Humax HDR1010S FreeSat Plus HD box.